Good afternoon. This is uh, Donnie Betts, and we are into Metro in just a couple of minutes. I'm very excited to be here with you, as always, uh, on a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, it's rainy, but it's absolutely gorgeous outside, you know. Could be doing other things, but, uh, you know, it makes it fresh. Makes it fresh. Um, when it rains, you know, we have a lot of green stuff that happens after that. So uh, we're very happy to have as our guest today, starting off, is Mr. Daniel Zan Sal Salazar, who's a, a brilliant, brilliant filmmaker, animator, uh, who is the director of the Great Film Festival that's uh, in its 15th year now. And I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let him pronounce it because I've always destroyed a name. You know how I am with uh, with uh, with Spanish. I'm, 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 I'm barely able to do things in English. So we, uh, we always appreciate the effort. <laughs> well, there you and, go. And, and as a pocho, I know very much what you're talking about. Cause yeah. Mispronounce English, Spanish, uh, Big Latin, whatever it is. But, uh, <laughs> it's all goes that way, right? This is our quinceanera, our 15th birthday for the Chicken Indy Film Fest Latino World Cinema. And originally this was started 15 years ago at Su Teatro, where still our home, and uh, uh, you know, one of their annual events. And it was the Chicano, independent Chicano filmmakers festival. Okay. So that's how we get the Chicken Indy. Gotcha, gotcha. And what was the inspiration for it to start it in the first place? Well, I think that the the last Spanish language theater had closed down, and we only had two in the city to begin with. And when that closed down, we you know we realized that we really needed to have a venue. I think there was also you know the issue that there was a lot of work that was beginning to come out um, that you know hadn't been seen, voices, filmmakers that hadn't been seen, and uh, we wanted to know about and and, and bring and. Uh, uh, meet and uh, also, you know, celebrate uh, the different uh, pioneers in, in media from the Chicano community. So it started very much as a film festival for independent uh, uh, Chicano and Latino uh, producers. And then, you know, as uh, the whole new wave of Latin American film and Nuevo Cinema Mexicana began to have its impact, uh, we uh, joined in partnership with the Denver Film Society and that enabled us to start presenting 35 millimeter films and we became Latino World Cinema, we added that part. So now in our 15th year, this quinceañera, I'm really uh, excited about about this festival because you know we're kind of combining everything that we've done in the past. We've got two Academy Award winning documentaries that are going to be shown, and then we've also got four wonderful independents, uh, three feature films by young filmmakers, some of them who pass through or have worked with Su Teatro, so mm -hmm. you know they're kind of our spores out there you know <laughs> uh that have it and, and you I, I know you can appreciate yeah you know the accomplishment of doing these really wonderful well-produced uh, uh feature films from uh from these young people so we're going to have uh, you know a bunch of them there so we're we're celebrating both so speaking of young filmmakers, I want to bring in our second guest, uh, who is a young filmmaker, very, very, very gifted, and also uh, came out of, um, uh, well, several schools, but in particular, she graduated from uh, CU in Denver. And I had the honor to be one of her professors just for a brief moment, okay? But she has gone out and just done great things, you know, very independent things. Uh, how you do it, you know, from grassroots on up. And she's an actor as well as director. Uh, Miss Fanny, are you on the phone there? I am on. Hi, my friend. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Fanny. <laughs> Hi, good to, I'm good great. to have you here. And we want to Happy talk about your here. film that you're bringing to uh, Denver called Homebound. It's actually it's kind of ironic. Uh, Homebound, you're coming back home again, yep. right? Oh, my God. It's such a, yeah, it's a definitely coming home moment for me. I'm really excited. So, So tell us about your film. So I wrote this movie, um, you know, it's a very simple American story about coming home. It's a young guy who lives in California. He's very successful here and gets a call that his father is dying of cancer. So he has to go back 
to a itty bitty town in the middle of Texas, right? And choose between his present and his past. And what's unique about my movie is, you know, I'm telling an American story with a Latino cast, which you just don't see, unfortunately. Or the ones that we do see, you know, are usually stereotypical portrayals of Latinos. So I was, I'm, I'm, as a filmmaker, I'm just really committed to creating films that transform the way Latinos are portrayed in the media. So that's my little movie. I'm excited. Well, a little movie, but it's uh, he's, you have tremendous talent. Uh, right. Uh, just what I'm going to bring up is Enrique Casella, uh, who was uh, in the film El Norte and Mia Familia, uh, and also yep. in this great, great film, I think, Blood In, Blood Out. You know, yeah. and weeds. Yep. Yeah, and weeds. He's yeah. currently in the Showtime's weeds. So it's not, you know, you say your little film. So it takes a lot to put a film together. You know, you're talking to two filmmakers now, so we know the process and how difficult it is to get it from from concept to page to screen. Let's talk about that process first off. Let's go from, you know, when you first had the idea, just a gem in, in your mind, and then uh, for the fact that you're now traveling to locations, you're traveling to Texas, you're using the helicopters, you're doing the whole nine yards, and you and you yeah. got a, basically a, a jar out, collecting money to so you can pay for this film. So let's talk <laughs> about uh, that and also the use of social media to get to get the word out. Oh, thank God for Facebook. So um, <laughs> two years ago... So I've been making films for about 10 years. As a matter of fact, my first short film I did in Denver was actors from Centro de Teatro. <laughs> and when I moved to Hollywood, you know, I started making short films, garnering a lot of awards from, like, major film festivals. But I still wasn't getting the deal, right, like, um, to get a mm -hmm. film made. So I have this little, you know, this little, I'm going to stop saying little. So I had this idea. Please. To <laughs> this feature film it was in my heart um so i wrote the script uh workshopped it a few times and then i started pitching it at different studios and they just weren't open to producing this kind of movie so i decided you know what this is an important movie to be told and the world needs to see it the world needs to see latinos on the big screen my children need to have role models in the big screen so i'm gonna make this movie whatever it takes so i just didn't you know got a whole community excited about it and hundreds of people gave money i went and filmed in a little town in texas called el campo texas where a film has never been made so they were really excited to be a part of it and they opened mm. their homes and parts to me i mean every day like people would show up to the set with like food <laughs> Water. That's always good. <laughs> and one of my producers one day says like, "Hey, they have a crop duster. Do you want to use it?" I was like, "Of course!" <laughs> wow. So we have wow. shots. We have extras. We had, you know, this movie would have been possible to be made in Los Angeles, right, for the budget that I had. Right. right. It took a lot of people just inspired and being committed to what was being creative and really feeling like they were a part of something magical, right? And it Thank was really you. hard. Thank you, yes. Really, really hard, really, really hard. But at the end of the day, it's done. It's like the much, you know, I cried and cried and cried, but it's done. I'm very proud. <laughs> so so hey, hang on a second, uh, Fanny. We'll come back to you in just a second, okay? I want to uh, talk to Daniel yeah. again. Uh, just where we were, and he, he was about to mention the other films that are going to be in the festival, so I want to get back to that and talk to you just for a few minutes before we close out, okay? Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. We're, we're so excited about having Fanny and giving her a big hug and welcoming her back home to uh, Su Teatro, as, as she mentioned. We also have uh, another veterano from, from Su Teatro. Well, uh, well, he's a little older. Yeah, Fanny's okay. too young to be a veterano of uh, anything, no. even though yeah. she's, still a she's, she's made such a uh, such accomplishment. Oh, you know what? And she directs and she acts in this, and her performance is fabulous. Mm. A wonderful, <laughs> wonderful performance. I mean, yes, yes. she's such uh, such an amazing talent. But 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 anyway, uh, uh, we're going to show Homebound on on Saturday at six p.m. At seven p.m., we're going to show a wonderful film from San Francisco called Delusions of Grandeur, and we'll have Salvador Benavides, and he's also someone who worked with us at at Su Teatro and uh, is now in in San Francisco and puts out a fabulous, really wonderful uh, performance. So it's going to be fun welcoming 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 him back. 
We're also going to be showing a film from San Antonio, and we'll have the director, Douglas Spain, there. Um, that's called Mission Park. So we're going to have a really wonderful evening of these independents. And then we're all going to start celebrating and partying and really <laughs> loosening up because we're going to show the 1992 classic Bowl of Beans from Culture Clash. Hmm. And then after that, we have a late night cabaret performance with Rick Salinas, original Culture Clash member, right. and Herbert Sequenza, okay. who you will recognize because he's performing in that wonderful afternoon with Pablo Picasso. Oh, fantastic. Here. So he's going to come down. He's going to make it from the Denver Center Theater, right, right. come back with La Gente here at, in, uh, at Su Teatro, and they're going to do a cabaret-style uh, performance. So we'll have two of the three members of Culture Clash. And then we're going to have a big party at Su Teatro afterwards. So that's going to be a really, really wonderful, wonderful experience and day and evening, going into the early evening probably, I mean early morning, right. uh, there at Su Teatro. So, Dan, what's, what's the address of Suchacha and the phone number? We're at 721 Santa Fe Drive. We're at the Denver Civic Theater. It's Su Teatro at the Denver Civic. Right. This is our third year, and we're really going gangbusters in terms of the kinds of programming and the amount of activity uh, that, that we have and yeah. interlapped uh, uh, just with the whole you know cultural environment, rich cultural environment of Denver. You can get information about the festival at suteatro.org. Beautiful. And that has a full listing of uh, all of the films and all the special events. Right. With trailers there, too, and it's really fantastic when you're able to check out the trailers. And, and Fanny, uh, a couple of things. Yes. Uh, you know, we, we talked about you, know, you being a filmmaker, too. Tell me mm -hmm. a little bit, just, just in a brief, like a minute or so, what, what is it like, um, not only you're a filmmaker, an actor, mm -hmm. but you're also mm -hmm. a mother. What is it like also yes. being a parent trying to do your work? You know, um, they saw the movie for the first time last Wednesday. We had a screening in Los Angeles, and it was the cutest thing. My kids, you know, I have a kissing scene, and they were covering their eyes. <laughs> but at the end of the day, <laughs> it's just beautiful because, you know, here, in, especially in Hollywood, you know, it's, you know you, you live here, so it's, it can get yes. hard. So it just really keeps things in perspective for me, and I'm able to create... A legacy like I want my children to see these films and all the films that you mentioned like you know Douglas Spain and Iris Almaraz who directed um, uh, you know uh, Salvador's movie uh, Salvi has become a really good friend of mine these are all amazing talents and we all become family in Los Angeles you know it's a small community so, very small community yeah so, so. I'm, I'm excited that we're all going to be there and celebrating filming Film well, we look forward to we look forward to seeing you here Saturday for your film Homebound, which uh, streams at six yeah. p.m. at El Centro Su Teatro. Uh, and just decided, just decided to see that you're still out there fighting a the good fight, you know. So yes, congratulations much, on guys. on your success, <laughs> and uh, you know it was it was good to share, you know, like a semester with you down at uh, at the university uh, here in uh, Colorado. So um, you know. Uh, I'll take all the credit. Uh, we all that want you to get. take a little yeah, credit because <laughs> we're so proud of you, Fanny. Because <laughs> we're so proud of you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Right. Thank you. See you Later. Soon. Bye. See you. Okay. So, Daniel, let's wrap it up. Just make sure we let people know again uh, what the address is and the phone number. And uh, what things are, uh, when, when the things start? They kick off Thursday, is that correct? Yeah, kick off Thursday, 7 p.m. We're going to have a reception. Then we have a beautiful film from uh, Peru, La Inca, La Boba, y El Hijo del Ladron. They're all subtitled. And then we're showing two wonderful documentaries, the Academy Award-winning documentary, Innocente, short documentary award, and Justice for My Sister, very powerful documentary from Guatemala. So we're starting out at Thursday. Friday, we've got a wonderful uh, documentary called uh, Tales of Mass Men about Lucha Libre. gives a whole context for it. Those are the wrestlers. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and, and they're kind of... Uh uh, it kind of explains the cultural context and uh, uh, reflects back, you know, a lot about uh, uh, how the U.S. has embraced it versus, uh, okay. uh, you know, all of South America. And then we're showing Searching for Sugar Man. Oh, great. Because so many people say this is a film that needs to be seen true. at Su Teatro. Yeah. So yeah, for those true. of you who have mm -hmm. seen it, but those of you who have come, those of you who haven't seen it, uh, we're going to have a really, really wonderful evening. And then we're going to have an after party at Quinto Sol. 
over there on on Spear. So that uh, begins at uh, six o'clock on uh, on Friday, and then Saturday I mentioned the wonderful. Uh, lineup that we have of independent uh, producers who will be there. We'll be celebrating. We're going to have a independent producer circle at uh, four o'clock, and we'll have another opportunity to talk to all of them about their adventure and and you know just uh, kind of like the conversation that we had earlier with uh, with Fanny. We'll have everyone together. Uh, I'm sorry, that'll be at three p.m. At four p.m. we're showing we're doing our chones, and chones is uh, you know kind of Denver pocho for shorts, and, and <laughs> right, that's right, our shorts. Beautiful. And uh, we'll have an in, t- in attendance a hilarious, very talented uh, performer, actor, musician Nicholas Valdez, who is also going to be at our Neruda Poetry Festival because his wonderful spoken word oh, with accordion. Beautiful. But he has two hysterical films okay. Maria the Cucaracha Killer and El Chorro okay. so uh, that's going to happen and then we'll follow that up with an award ceremony at 5.30 and then we'll be showing Homebound at 6 o'clock Delusions of Grandeur at 7 Mission Park at 8 and uh, then we'll have our Culture Clash evening and then Saturday, I mean Sunday we're going to slow things down a little bit, we're going to recoup from Saturday night and we have a very beautiful film that you would love entitled uh, Violetta Went to Heaven about Violetta Parra. And that's going to be at uh, 545 on Sunday to kind of close ease us out, out, ease out with a, with a beautiful, remarkable film from Chile. Beautiful. We've been speaking today with Daniel Salazar, giving us information about the festival.